Orthopedics, the shoulder. Most problems of the shoulder are related to fractures and rotator cuff problems. Here is the acromial spur. Here's an arm attraction for a arthroscopy of the shoulder or subacromial vasectomy. Prep. Dislocated shoulder anterior. Dislocation AC joint here inferior with a fracture. Dislocation superiorly, that's the most common type. Dislocation AC joint, most managed non operatively, but when it's right up near the ear, you may need to operate on it. Dislocated shoulder here, just notice on incidental x ray, been out for two years, and a 79 year old. Stress views of the AC joint can show the dislocation. Dislocation anterior with a fragment. Dislocated anterior shoulder, partial brachial plexus palsy afterwards. Could have been pre existing, could be post existing related to, tra to traction. The so called lateral view to discern whether the dislocation is anterior, either coracoid or posterior to the acromion. Typical posture dislocated anterior shoulder. This is the auxiliary view determining whether it's anterior or posterior. Bilateral anterior shoulder dislocations in the student, usually with epileptic fit, easily reduced. Complete dislocation AC joint on the right side here. See the step off? Dislocated left AC joint. Luxatio erecta, hand above the shoulder. Fixation of a dislocated AC joint, see, screw fixation. Post repair of a Hill Sachs lesion in the patient. Posterior shoulder dislocation, don't miss symmetrical appearance of the humeral head. Typical posture, posterior, posterior shoulder dislocation, locked in internal rotation, don't miss it. There's a posterior shoulder dislocation out the back. Posterior shoulder dislocation symmetrical or, or ice cream cone appearance of the humerus. Scapular rotation technique reducing dislocated shoulder can be useful. Right sternoclavicular dislocation, hard to see, need to do CT views to discern it. Voluntary dislocator of the shoulder, watch out for these, do a reconstruction, they just tear it apart. Po voluntary posterior dislocator. Fracture of the distal clavicle often needs open reduction internal fixation. Fracture of the greater tuberosity can leave these. Fracture of the glenoid inferiorly doesn't involve too much articular surface. You can leave that one. Surgical neck again. Fracture of mid clavicle child perfectly modeling, no operation. Mid glenoid fracture, this will need, will need open reduction internal fixation. This is a large step off deformity. Fracture in the neck of the scapula. Four part fracture, proximal humerus. Often these require surgery um, as uh, they go on to delayed union, non union. Four part fracture, proximal humerus with inferior subluxation. Again, they often requ require replacement of the proximal humerus. Fracture of the spine of the scapula, unusual. Fracture surgical neck, 24 year old. Do, um, could do open reduction into total fixation or a skillful closed reduction. Here's a skillful closed reduction, left a slight varus but would have good function. And there it was, it still went on the bony union. Four part fracture, proximal humerus, non union of the clavicle, 41 year old. This may require open reduction, internal fixation, bone grafting if it becomes symptomatic. Fracture of the lower angle, uh, an angulated lower glenoid from a uh, previous fracture. Wasn't causing the patient any problem, so it was left. Fracture mid clavicle, non union, gunshot. Fracture distal clavicle will require bone grafting. Commonly, fracture mid clavicle did require bone grafting and fixation. There's an open reduction internal fixation fracture distal clavicle. There's an open reduction internal fixation fracture of the glenoid. There's a fracture of the um, non union fixed with reconstructive plate bone graft went on to union. That's an adult. 
posterior shoulder dislocated, locked over the back of the glenoid. Brush pins used for fixing fracture of the neck of the humerus. Ganglion excised from the AC joint there it has been excised. A healing fracture of the clavicle remodeling. There's a hemiarthroplasty placement for a fracture of proximal humerus. Infection, osteomyelitis, right sternoclavicular joint. Hard to pick up clinically. Bone scan will show it. So you've got a moth uh, lesion here. Instability, posterior translation of the shoulder. Label detachment in the shoulder. Here it is at arthroscopy being debrided. Here's a muscle detachment. Uh, deltoid uh, rotator cuff repair and then the deltoid repair detached from the uh, from the uh, acromion because a soft bone is a smoker. Pectoralis major avulsion, pectoralis major avulsion, often you don't need to repair these radial nerve palsy, winging of the scapular serratus anterior nerve palsy, OA of the glenoid, hypertrophic OA of the AC joint, can be painful and workers need to sur surgery here is hypertrophic OA uh, post sports post hard work shown again OA of the shoulder second appendix disease unusual to get OA of the shoulder usually post traumatic major cuff rotator cuff repair good uh, do, doing well at two months fracture of the greater tuberosity calcification of the rotator cuff can be very painful may need to excise it here's a repair at two months Here's the old way of putting rotator cuff in. Now you can use bony anchors. Here is a periscapular wasting associated rotator cuff pathology. Here's a good rotator cuff repair. This is the end of part one. Please look out for part two of the shoulder.